Now, before we get into Gavin Lux's first big league walk-off hit of his career, we have to talk about what happened in the second inning. You've got Michael Grove on the mound making his big league debut. He's one out away from getting out of this inning without allowing a run. 0-2 count. Grove comes to the plate with a fastball, and Stotts hits a ground ball that goes right under the legs of Gavin Lux, goes into right field. Segura scores from second. Lux spits right there. You know he's upset with himself. He picks up his hat. He looks inside his hat for the positioning card, and he's just trying to play it cool, but you know he's frustrated because this is a ball that he'll tell you that he should get to 100% of the time. It goes right under his legs into right field, and look who it is. Old friend, evil Knievel, Corey Knievel. He, of course, spent the 2021 season with the Dodgers, and he signed with the Phillies in the offseason, but what really got the rally going was Cody Bellinger. A 1-2 count with two outs. Belly goes up and he gets that fastball. He rips it into right field and you see the way they were shifted towards center field. That ball goes all the way to the wall and look at this fan right there trying to reach out. We'll talk about that guy in a little bit, but Belly, you know he's got wheels and he makes it all the way to third base for a two-out triple. You see Hanser Alberto, he's doing the shaka. He's doing the switch it up and Belly gives him a little mini Shaka switch it up right there and the rally is on. So two outs and then you got Chris Taylor at the plate. So CT3 with Bellinger, the tying run on third base, two outs. He works the count full and first of all, I love this guy right here. Look at this fan doing the robot with the count full, two outs and Chris Taylor, he lays off that fastball high up out of the zone and he draws the two out walk. So the Dodgers are set up with runners on the corners, two outs, and Gavin Lux at the plate. Yes, the same guy that made that costly error that led to those four unearned runs. Yes, the guy that the internet was roasting, saying the Dodgers should trade him, saying that he shouldn't be on the field, calling him Gavin Bust, calling him Gavin Sucks. They were roasting Gavin Lux, but he's at the plate with a chance to redeem himself. And then on the 2-1 pitch, Gavin Lux stays on the breaking ball and rips it into right field. Chris Taylor running on the play. Cody Bellinger scores to tie it. And then here comes CT3 to win it. Gavin Lux gets his first walk off of his career. But it's all skill, no Lux. The Dodgers good Lux charm. And he gets the walk off the first of his career. And he's jumping for joy like a little kid out there. He's super excited. And he's like, yeah, yeah. Let's go. You see him jumping up and down. There's Shane Green. There's Edwin Rios. They're just hitting his head. Just all super excited. Then high five to Julio Arias. Slap on the butt. High five to JT. Little pat on the butt. High five right there from Andrew Heaney. You got Freddie Freeman with the high five. And of course, there's always one person that gets left hanging in these situations. And this time it was Max Muncy. He's trying to get that high five. Gavin Lux doesn't see him and he doesn't get it. And now here's another shot of the boy. Boys mobbing Gavin Lux. They're excited for him. And I love this. You got Trey Turner right here. He grabs Gavin by the back of the pants and just kind of swings him around like a little swirly and just kind of pushes him back in this circle. Almost looked like Mario swinging Bowser around by his tail right there. And then you got the two heroes, Gavin Lux, Cody Bellinger. You remember they said they were Kobe and Shaq in the NLDS last year. Well, they get it done. Again, he points at Cody Bellinger and they're just talking talking to each other. So big day. Then here's Gavin Lux again. More high fives. You got high fives for Heaney. You got a pat on the butt right there. You got Will Smith with the high five. You got Freddie Freeman. The high five little grabs his head. And everyone's just so happy. There's a high five. Mookie Betts gets one. I mean, it is just joy at the ravine. Of course, King Kirsch is going to get himself a high five. Then Austin Barnes, of course, he grabs his shoulder right here and tries to pull his jersey. He's always looking like he's trying to kill someone. Finish. And then you got... Tony Gonson. Tony smokes the cat man, the great cats. But he's excited for his boy G Lux. So what a great day at the ravine. Such an exciting moment. And when you consider the fact that he goes zero to hero in the same game, look, how can you not be romantic about baseball? How can you not be romantic about baseball? Well, Gavin Lux having his moment at the ravine, redeeming himself. Now I've got to talk about this fan out in right field because Gavin Lux cranks that double to right and 
it rolls all the way to the wall, and you see this fan right here. He's trying to reach out and grab that baseball. He's like a couple feet away at this point. It doesn't get to him, but let's say he grabs that baseball. That goes as a ground roll double for Gavin Lux, and they were sending Chris Taylor from first, and he would have been held up at third base, and he wouldn't have been able to score on that play. So the Dodgers would have had second and third with two outs. Yes, they would have tied the game, but that could have prevented the walkout. This fan was really trying to grab this baseball, and he kind of pulls up at the last minute, though, so maybe he wasn't, but still, had he gotten to that ball, that walkout would have been taken away. So fans, if you're going to games, you can catch the home run balls, you can catch the foul balls, but don't interfere with the balls on the field, because you could risk the Dodgers having a walk-off win, but still, I don't know. This fan looked like he wanted himself a baseball, and that he would probably risk having the Dodgers not have a walk-off. Also, you saw he's not wearing a Dodgers hat, so that kind of makes me skeptical about him. Is he just a baseball fan? Is he a Zach Hample type? Is he a Phillies fan? You never know, but no, I'm just giving him a hard time, but but let me know down below in the comment section. Do you think that fan would have picked up that ball if he had a chance? Do you think that he was going to interfere with the play, and what do you think they should do to fans that interfere with balls in play? Let me know down below in the comment section. Also, what are your thoughts on Gavin Lux? Do you think that this will spark him moving forward? Was going through a little bit of a slump after a hot start. Me personally, I think he goes on a tear after this big moment. But let me know down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at dmac underscore la. For all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, breakdowns, interviews, and more, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.